video and I'm going to do show you how to do a slip knot and how to chain. Usually we chain before we start crocheting. Uh, in the previous video I showed you how to do a slip knot. I showed you this way that you take your yarn, you wrap it <clears throat> just once at an angle to form an X and the other side it will form two parallel lines. You take your hook um, then you put it under over the second one then you hook then you release but then I realized some of you you might not be it might be difficult just holding the, the crochet so another easy way you can do you can do it over your finger take your hand you wrap it on your finger to form an X like in and like that then what you're going to do you're going to pull the sec first one you put your finger then you're going to grab this one and once you grab this one you start pulling and that's a slip knot if that is difficult for you then you can also take your yarn <coughs> just form like this mm -hmm. then you're going to put your fingers in between and you're going to grab this yarn and start pulling So that's a slip knot right it's adjustable <clears throat> so once you do your slip knot um, you can either hold, hold your hook like a knife or like and, and now to start the chaining we're going to take um, your hand you put your yarn in between the small finger and the three fingers and you're going to hold your hand yarn but just keeping your fingers together then you're going to uh, put your yarn over this finger like this then with your stick with this one and this one you're going to hold okay so that's how you hold then you hold your hook like a knife then we're going to move it horizontally then up a little bit to like catch the yarn or hook it then we're going to turn our hook to face down then you're going to move it horizontally going backwards passing through that loop and you form a chain you're gonna do it again then you're going to move your hook horizontally you go up a little bit then you turn your hook to face down then you're going to move it horizontally going backwards passing through that loop like that usually when I finish chaining I hold the part that I've chained so you're going to move your hook horizontally, go up a little bit, go up, then you turn your hook downwards to face down, then you're going to horizontally move, going backwards, passing through that loop, and that's a chain. Right. This um, part is holding the, the yarn what do you call it is holding the hand some people hold it like this some people hold it just in between so it's up to you then some pe uh, so you just see which one is um, is comfortable for you right <clears throat> right so again you move your hook horizontally go up a little bit to catch or to hook that yarn then you turn your crochet to face down then you're going to move horizontally going backwards passing through that loop right you can either hold your hook like a knife like this or like a pencil and sometimes how you hold it changes with the movement that you're doing um yeah so I'm just going to show you again. Take your, your yarn, put it between your fingers, three fingers, three fingers in this one. Then you're going to put your yarn over this one. Right. Then you're going to, with these other two fingers, this one and this one, you're going to hold the part that has the this part. Then you're going to, holding my 
hook like a knife or like a pen so i'm going to move it horizontally go up a little bit to catch that yarn or to hook it then i'm going to turn my hook to face downwards then i'm going to move horizontally going in a backward direction and that's how chain so um 